This brief video will play repeatedly as I explain avian cranial kinesis. Most bird species are characterized by a type of cranial kinesis called prokinesis, where the upper beak flexes in relation to the cranium, which is stable and doesn't move. A unit of bones shown in blue is said to bend upwards at a flexion zone between the upper beak and cranium. Most analyses of kinesis are done with dissected skulls, but this animation is based on x-ray film of a live bird while feeding. The upper beak was found to bend downward as well as upward. Upward flexion is called protraction caused by the quadrate protraction in green, pushing the pterygoid in red forward against the upper beak unit which flexes upward. When the unit moves downward beyond the resting point, the palate is retracted by the retracting quadrate and pterygoid. It's shown here again. Protraction and again, retraction. The tongue is not shown here, but as the jaws open, the tongue moves food into the oral cavity. And when the jaws close and the beak flexes downward, the tongue is moving forward and pressing food against the roof of the oral cavity. I'll show it again. The tongue lifts the food into the oral cavity and then presses it against the downward flexing palate, part of the upper beak unit. It's even more fun when you put muscles that move the quadrate, protract it, and retract it. 